of Vlogmas and it is almost noon already. I've had a super productive morning. I'm feeling really good about it. I've made time to get work done, but also take time for myself. And after the boys went to school this morning, I finished the first cuff of my Cozy Knitter Advent Socks. And I started casting on the second one, which I'm going to get back to this afternoon. And I'm gonna cake up that yarn and just give myself some really luxurious knitting time today. I cannot wait. I cleaned bathrooms and did a little bit of a tidy up after a super hectic weekend. And I started to take photos of my new leather tote. I've had a lot of questions about it. So I'm going to try to work out all the details for the price um, and post a listing for that. Hopefully today, if I can get all the details sorted out. But I'm starving. I am going to make myself a nice big bowl of soup from last night and I will check in soon. Here is lunch, and I think I'm just gonna flip through my new 2020 Hobonichi Weeks. Um, I did get another one this year, and I believe it starts December 1st, and I'm going to be using this as a work planner. So I think I'm going to combine all kinds of shop stuff, what I'm working on, what supplies I need to order, but also keep track of some YouTube stuff in here, um, video ideas, things like that. So I am just going to relax and have my soup and then see what's next on the agenda today. I've eaten my lunch and I feel human again. So I'm just putting a few things back into place or finding places for them. This beautiful statue was a gift for James for his confirmation last year. And so he didn't have a safe spot in his room for it. And I thought it would look really nice in this cabinet up here because I also have one that Camden got for his confirmation. Um, I can't remember the name of it and what it's, like what the name of the statues are, but they're really nice. So they will be safe and sound in there. And I decided to gather some of my sock projects and put them in my new knitting basket. So I have two pairs of socks in here that are kind of a priority for me. So they'll go in there. This is my Cozy Knitter Advent 2018 skein or pair of socks that are doing pretty well for progress. And I'm going to throw in my Notions pouch, which has all my darning needles and stitch markers and scissors and things, and that'll go in there. And I think I'm just going to throw in a little notebook and a pencil that has my notes on how to do a heel because I never remember it exactly. And so if that's going to be my sock bag, that is what I'm going to put in there. And I did find a cozy blanket to put on my chair because this room is freezing because of these huge windows here. It gets really, really cold, especially at night. So there's my new blanket. So I'm all set. I'm going to plan a little bit of time here this afternoon before I get too tired. But for now, I am going to get on my computer and start this listing for my leather bag. Doesn't this look cozy? It's almost four o'clock and I just sat down to work on my second cuff because I keep getting distracted. And it's freezing up here, so I put my slippers on and I'm under the blanket. And I just thought I would check in and let you guys know that this afternoon I took lots of photos and I put up a pre-order listing for the new everything tote bag. It's in my shop. It's available in black and brown to pre-order. Um, the website is bythelakeside.com. And I just thought I would mention in case you missed the post on Instagram because I'm putting up a slot for the pre-orders, I guess um, a batch of them that I can work on before Christmas. So all the details are online if you are interested. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is that for now, I've just posted them available in Canada and the US. But if you are outside of that area, um, please just send me a message. I 
can get a quote for you for shipping. It's just that my current shipping provider had a ridiculous price to ship internationally um, in a box because this is a much larger item than I normally ship and I don't want to fold it up really small. So if you are interested, I will offer them to you, but I am going to try and find better shipping and I'll do it case by case. So if someone is interested, you can send me an email, uh, let me know your address and then I can price it out for you and see if I can get a good shipping price for you. So that is that. I am going to try to get cracking on these socks because I keep getting distracted and I also found this. I don't know if any of you guys know about these. I feel like they're not easy to find or they're not everywhere and they're kind of, I don't know, I feel like they're an old school treat because my dad used to buy me these and I love them. So I think I'm gonna have this cherry blossom work on my sock and I forgot I still haven't caked up the yarn so I'll do that afterwards and then it's on to dinner and I don't know I don't know what tonight will be I think I have a test to help Camden prepare for and it's math my worst subject so I'll check in with you later in the mood to make dinner but I had this pork tenderloin in the fridge from the other night when we went out to eat and so it's kind of an easy recipe I'm just putting it in the oven for 25 30 minutes I've put some olive oil on it and just a spice rub just your favorite spices um, and it turns out really nice the kids like it and I've got some asparagus with some grape tomatoes and a Caesar salad and that's it. Hopefully I can relax, just put my feet up tonight and knit. Also, these slippers are possibly the best purchase I've made in months. I love them.